Hello, in this presentation, numerical modeling and experimental investigation of noise in external gear pumps will be presented. Noise is one of the main issues in fluid power systems and positive displacement machines are known as the primary noise sources. To enhance noise performance, our research team has focused on the external gear pumps and the noise generation in gear pumps can be categorized into three types of noise fluidable noise, structurable noise, and airborne noise. Due to the complex interaction between these three domains, all the noise sources and how they propagate are not well understood, and new designs rely on the simple method. So our research goals are to identify all the important noise sources, model the vibrant acoustic behavior of the pumps, validate the model with precise noise measurement, and have better understanding of noise generation in fluid power systems. In this figure, we can see the structure of the simulation model, and the model uses proper methodologies for each domain. For the fluid one noise, the lump parameter approach is used. For the structure and airborne noise, a combined FEM-BEM approach is used. Now, let's take a look at the details of each step. For the evaluation of the fluid bone noise sources, the simulation tool developed in a fluid power research center called HIGOSIM is used. There is a video for more detailed information about this tool, so please watch it if you are interested. This tool basically considers the four main control volume groups and the pressure build application is solved. This result shows the pressure and working volume inside a particular two space volume. From this result, important features of the fluid one noise sources can be observed. As the gear rotates, the two space volume goes through a steep pressure gradient and the outlet pressure ripple. Inside the meshing zone, the two space volume faces the higher pressure peak, another steep pressure gradient, and cavitation. The contributions of all these noise sources are considered in a direct or indirect way in the model. For the structure analysis, first FEM mesh is generated and then the model analysis is performed to obtain the characteristics of the structural vibration. This model information is used to implement the model's proposition techniques for the efficient calculation of the force response of the structure. Then, the effective loading functions are mapped to the proper area of the structure. This figure shows all the nodes of the finite element mesh that are exposed to the dynamic pressure. The regions exposed to the dynamic pressure are subdivided into four areas depending on the types of loading functions. And in this figure, we can see each of dynamic pressures in time domain and frequency domain. For the airborne noise prediction, BEM mesh is generated on the exterior surface of FEM mesh. And field point mesh and the acoustic environment are inserted in the model. The shape of this visualization mesh and the locations of two reflecting planes are determined in such a way as to mimic the acoustic environment of the semi unequate chamber where the noise measurements were taken for the model validation. You will see the picture of the sound chamber and how the noise measurements were taken in a couple of slides. Now, Everything is ready for the noise radiation prediction. The main outcomes of the model are the structural vibration, sound pressure level distribution, and the sound power level. To validate the acoustic model, the pump was tested at the semi unequate chamber. Only the pump and the short connecting lines were inside the chamber, and during the measurement, the inner temperature was kept constant. Sound intensity was measured using the robot arm following the ISO standard. To be specific, the robot arm moved the sound intensity probe to the desired point and the noise was recorded for a few seconds. Then, the intensity probe was moved to the next position. The shape of grid point for the measurement is the same with the shape of the field point mesh and you can also see the two reflecting planes which are the wall and floor inside the chamber. Comparisons are made between numerical and experimental results for several operating conditions. As it can be seen in this slide, the model is able to predict the overall sound power levels with a fairly good accuracy. 
When it comes to the sound pressure level distribution, you can see the model is able to capture the noisy area. The next step of this research will be the further development of the acoustic model. The model will also be used to investigate the design parameters that affect noise emissions and develop the optimization strategies aimed at noise reduction. It will also serve as the virtual prototyping tool for quiet pumps. For any question, you can find more details by visiting the website of Lafleet Power Research Center or you can contact Dr. Andrea Baca at avacca at purdue.edu. Thanks for watching.